What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys more competitive rank VGC level battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing this imprisoned Zacian team that also features Life Orb Landers and Assault Vest Gyarados. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do I even have to say subscribe to the channel, yo. Get on that, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. But this team right here is looking pretty cool. It's got Imprisoned Zacian. Imprisoned Zacian. I've never seen that before, so it's going to be a first for me. Hopefully, we get to showcase that all and get after the battles that way. But starting off with this team preview, Zacian in that top left corner. It's got that Interpret Sword and Rest of Sword, obviously, for its item and ability. We got Iron Head. We got Sacred Sword, Protect, and then we got Imprisoned. And then we have Imprisoned. This threw me off at first. I was like, yo, what is up with Imprisoned on this thing? But I think it's to be used on other Zacians. You can just Imprison them, then they can't use Sacred Sword, Iron Head, or Protect. Three moves that they always run. I think it's going to be a lot of fun going up against Zacian teams. Hopefully, we get to showcase it in today's battle and for some more Zacians. But right next to him is the next Pokemon on the squad. That is going to be Rillaboom. Great Pokemon for any situation. This is a G-Max Rillaboom. So if we have to go into Dynamax form with him, we'll rock out with him, Dynamax him, and use G-Max moves with him. We got Grassy Surge. We got Miracle Seed as our item. And then Grassy Guide, Wood Hammer, Fake Out, and Protect. Fairly normal moveset for any Rillaboom. Middle left is going to be one of the best back-end Pokemon in the game. And that is going to be Urshfu. Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects. Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Close Combat for big stab damage and detect to protect ourselves. Right next to him is a nice little Prankster Thunderous. Great support mom for the squad with Thunderbolt, Eerie Impulse, Drop Special Attackers, Scary Face Lower Speed, and Taunt to Taunt Support Mods. We also got that Citrus Berry to give us more HP when we fall below half. Bottom left corner is going to be our heavy hitter for the squad, and that is going to be Life Orb Landers. It also has Intimidate as its ability, so it can drop physical attack. And this thing is just an absolute beast all around. Give it the Life Orb, you can Dynamax him. He does big damage with all of his moves. He gets that special defense boost with his Max Quake, and he also gets that speed boost with that Fly. It's awesome. It's really, really good all around, and I think it's just a perfect Pokemon to give the Life Orb. And also, when you're Dynamax, you can have Weather Control, because he does have Rock Slide on him absolutely love this pokemon i think he's super super strong in all formats and in all situations but move set for this thing if you guys didn't already know eq fly rock slide and protect final pokemon for the squad is going to be yet another intimidate mon that's going to be gyarados over here assault vest so it can actually soak up some shots we got waterfall we got bounce we got crunch we got stone edge whole list of moves we can pretty much hit up on any single pokemon Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder. Look to get some wins with this imprisoned Zacian team. Let's try to get this video started off with a W. Going up against a pretty cool Eternatus team. Features Regilecki, Thunderous, Tapu Fini, Mimikyu, and Scizor. Scizor is an absolute beast, Brilliant Diamond, and Shining Pearl, but he's not. He's decent here. I was going to say he's not that good here, but he's decent here. He can give us some trouble. I definitely think it's really strong with the Choice Band, so maybe we still got to watch out for that Pokemon. But how should we go into this one? How should we lead it? Um, I think he's going to possibly lead that Thunderous and maybe the Regilecki. That could definitely be an option for him, so I might just want to lead... Uh, Landers could be good alongside with, hmm, who else could I lead? Landers and Robin could be solid. Could be pretty good here. I kind of like that lead. I kind of just want to go into these two. I feel like we have speed control pretty much set. Unless we can't get rid of that red Lucky. But if we can just grass guy and that thing's not focus ash, we can do a lot of work for that one. Plus, we can go into Dynamax. We can use Fly and kind of just, uh, play it that way. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. He could go into Trick Room, which is definitely scary. So, I actually might want to lead... I might want to lead you. I'm going to lead you just in case he's going to try to pop off a trick room. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Really don't know how this one's going to play out. But we're going to go Zacian here. And I think we just go Urshfu for the back end. I really do like this combo. Let's rock it out. Let's lock in our team. And look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. What do you guys think they should do for the next rank series in this game? Considering I think it's getting a little stale. I think they need to totally shake up the meta. We have been having restricted mods for a while. And for me to answer my own question today, I think they need to take out restricted mods. I think they need to ban Incineroar. I think they need to ban Rillaboom. I think they just need to ban a handful of meta Pokemon. I'm not saying these Pokemon are like too OP and they're just annoying to play up against. I just think they're making the game go stale because if you're not using these, these Pokemon, chances are you are losing to those Pokemon. They are just that good in the meta. So I think in order to shake up the game and make it more fun, take them all out and bring in a whole different meta. Kind of like revert back to like before these Pokemon were even in the game because I really did have a blast playing in those times. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. But he's going to end up going into... Oh, was that Defiant? Was that a Defiant Landers? I think it was, wasn't it? I think Defiant. No, we got an attack... Oh, yeah, so it was Defiant. So that's a Defiant Thunderous right there. 
That's fine. Uh, he also has the Regilecki out on the field, and he could go... What do we want to do here? I think I'm just going to drop a Rock Ball, or I could go into a Quake. I mean, he definitely might swap out for that, but you know what? I'm just going to go into here. I'm just going to go for a Rock Ball. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Gonna do. And I could Taunt, but I think just... Mm, I don't even know what I should do. I might just double down into uh, the Sun Rush here. Because Regilecki might swap out or Protect. Let's see what he does. Regilecki might swap out or Protect. He is going to Dynamax here, which I'm pretty cool with. I'm pretty fine with that. But I can definitely see Regilecki either swapping out or protecting. And if I have to, I do not mind going into a scary face and triggering the Defiant ability. Because if that means we can just outspeed, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. We're just going to double down into this. We have to get rid of this Pokemon. He's, he's looking pretty strong. He's plus one on the field. Let's get after it. I wonder what Regilecki's doing. I really do. Maybe. I don't even know. He can't hit my Landorus. Unless he's rocking like Hyper Beam. But most of them are just all electric around. So let's see what this guy's cooking up. Let's see what this dude's cooking up. Oh, so DC double Dynamax here. And he's. Oh, dude, of course he's running Hyper Beam. Of course he's running Hyper Beam. <laughs> and he's going to go for an Airstream, which we should be able to soak up fine. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. So he goes for the Airstream. He is going to get the speed boost. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. He gets the speed boost, dude. Of course this thing's running Hyper Beam. But he cannot attack next turn with Regilecki, which is pretty good. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through here, chip up some damage, and I might just scary face it. I think I might just scary face to take it out. Let's see how much damage this is gonna do. Rockfall's gonna poke through here, and Rockfall just takes out, yo. I love it. I love it. Red's lucky can't go this next turn. This is huge. This is huge. Bro, I was sitting there, I was just like, this Red's lucky can't hit our Landorus unless he has Hyper Beam, but Chance already doesn't have Hyper Beam, blah, 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 blah. And this thing's just, uh, just like, Red's lucky uses Hyper Beam. What you mean, dude? <laughs> just throws out a Hyper Beam on me. Well, he can't go this turn, so I might just let it go. Or is that going to come back to bite me? Because Regilecki is really strong. It is a really strong mod. So he is plus one on speed with Regilecki. I could dump on it this turn, and we could... Ooh, he's going to rock out with this. He's going to rock out with that, and uh, what do I do here? I could slow it down. I could definitely slow it down and go into a Quake and just finish off that. Or I could go into an Airstream and do some damage on the Scissor. What's, what's my play here? If he goes to a bull punch, can we eat that up? You know, I say we just go for the quake. I say we get rid of that Pokemon because in the back end we do have Urshfu. And we do have Zassian, which is pretty good. I kind of like this. Uh so you know what? Let's just go into a quake here. Let's finish off the Regilecki. Let's say we're not worried about that. And I could scary face that thing. Which I might do. I think I am gonna scary face onto this uh scissor. Just to slow it down a little bit. Just to slow this lovely little booger down. So we're gonna slow him down. Give him that. And let's see what he's going for. Is he going for a bull punch? I wonder. He is going to go for a bull punch. Can we soak? We cannot. Oh my god, dude. I should have just attacked. I should have just attacked. So now he's sitting in a decent position. I could have protected it and maybe go for a T-Bolt. But now Regilecki is back. Fully recharged. And the Buffets are going to poke out here. Okay, so what's the play? What is the play? Bring out Zacian. Zacian could be solid. I think I would rather save the Urshfu. I mean, I could go for Sucker Punches, but I, I think I'd rather save him. I think I'd rather save him. He is probably just going to drop another bullet punch. But I do have to watch out for that. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's the play here, Jeans? What's the play here, Jeans? I'm going to get that attack boost. I think we have to hit up onto the, uh... The scissor, right? I'm really not too scared of this thing. I think we have to hit up onto the scissor here. Maybe just double down into him. Let's just get after a scissor. I'm not really too worried about this Regilecki. I'm really not too worried about this Regilecki. Bullet punch going to fly through here. And we soaked that up all day. That's easy eats, baby. Dude, that thing hits like a truck. That thing hits like a truck. He's going to Volt Switch out. That's fine. That is totally fine. We're not touching that Pokemon, and we are going to eat our Citrus Berry. That thing's hitting like a truck, dude. That Scissor is scaring me. That Scissor is scaring me. We, we are plus one, but I think it still soaks up. It's just an absolute beast of a Pokemon. And I do think it's Choice Bandit because it's hitting that hard. It's hitting, it's hitting real hard with that Bolt Punch. <laughs> it's hitting real hard. He's going to throw his final Pokemon, which is going to be this Eternatus. And it ain't too bad here. We're going to float in the air with it. Or he is floating in the air with an air balloon. That's good to know. And Sacred Sword is going to poke here. Same thing with Thunderbolt. Can we get a Paralyze? Can we do something good with that? Paralyze him. Come on. Give it to me. He's going to get... Oh, no. He doesn't get buffed at it. Okay. So he's going to have one more turn left. And how do we play this? He is probably going to bull punch into me. So I'm thinking of just dropping Behemoth Blade. And going into Thunderbolt here. I mean, he is going to bull punch. But we should be able to soak up his bull punch. And both my Pokemon should be able to outspeed Eternatus. So I do like where we're sitting. Bull Punch is going to fly through here. Can you soak this up? 
all day all day that's easy eats that's easy eats baby behemoth blade's gonna fly through here and then thunderbolt's gonna take out scissor and we get off some big damage onto this eternatus as well love to see it love to see it baby how much damage are we doing oh yes sir oh yes sir and we have sucker punch rocket in the back air balloon gets popped and this thing's gonna go first that's a little rough i think it's gonna go first okay that's a little rough but do we uh go into a sucker punch we might have to go into a sucker punch yeah that's definitely gonna be a reply we're gonna turn this into a 2v1 we're gonna sucker punch up onto the uh scissor and then we are going to uh take out the eternatus as well or i can just double protect actually no that's not a play that's not a play sucker punch we definitely outspeed that scissor i'm loving it and then you know just take out that and turn it into a 2v1 just turn it into a 2v1 situation the behemoth blade yet again and then go into a lovely lovely little sucker punch just so he doesn't bullet punch on any of my pokemon because we're not dealing with that we're not dealing with the choice band bullet punch we're not dealing with the choice band bullet punch. Definitely a scary mod. Definitely does a lot of damage. But it was really beneficial for us to just to drop the rock ball and get a first turn KO. That was huge. That was some huge damage we got off. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Nothing's better than when you uh, take out a Dynamax Pokemon in one shot right off the rip. But Sucker Punch outspeeds the scissor just like we wanted to. Take it out. And now Zassian will go before Eternatus. Take him out. And now we got a 2v1 sitting in front of us, which I'm loving. It's just these two versus Reg Lucky, And we should be fine. We should be fine. We have Sucker Punch to get first turn priority. It's just great. It is just great. But the worst part is these Buffets are going to take off my Sash. Unless, there it is. Yes, sir. Yo, the Sandstorm subsided. So we still have our Sash to secure the victory even more. So solid first battle for us. Solid first battle. I've been loving playing some Sword and Shield and bouncing between that, this and BDSP. Just been having a lot of fun with it. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Like up the video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo. Come on, yo. I know you guys want to subscribe to the channel, but... 2v1, like I said, I think we just go into a nice little wicked blow here. Or I could drop a nice little close combat, which I'm probably going to do here. Get off as much damage as I can, but I can see him canceling. Cancel the battle. Let's go. 1-0. Let's hop to a second and go back to back for you guys. Our next opponent is rocking out with a wonderful Kyogre team. He has Kyogre, Regilecki, Landorus, Incineroar for double Intimidates, and then he has Zapdos, probably holding that Life Orb alongside with Whimscott for Tailwind and support. But um, I think I might want to go into my lovely little Pokemon right here. I think... I think Thunderous is really good in situations like this. We can go Speed Control with Siri Face. We can go Eerie Impulse on special attackers like Kyogre. We can taunt up on Wimscott if Wimscott is coming out on the field. I'm just really liking that. I am really liking that. I might actually go Gyarados as well, but Gyarados doesn't look too hot here. He doesn't look too hot. I think Landorus looks a lot better considering he has two electric types and Kyogre could be running Thunder as well. So got to watch out for that. Got to watch out for that. I could go uh, Rillaboom right off the rip. I kind of like Rillaboom. But you know what? I might just go Landorus lead again. What do I want to do here? I think, I honestly think that, uh, what's called is going to get the lead. I honestly think Incineroar, like an Intimidate Pokemon has got to come in here, right? An Intimidate Pokemon has got to come in here. We are going to bring Rillaboom. And honestly, I'm going to lead Rillaboom. I just like having Rillaboom as that lead. Can't take out Regilecki in a shot. Can, uh, deal with Kyogre if he comes in here. And then we are going to go Landorus alongside with Zacian. I am liking that call. I'm really liking that call. We're going to leave Urshfu in the back as much as I want him because I absolutely love Urshfu. Especially he's rocking Sucker Punch on this moveset. It just works out so well, especially up against a team like this. But if he goes into uh, Wimscott, I'm just going to taunt it. Hopefully let it not be able to get off the Tailwind. But I think it still might be able to because it outspeeds me. So we'll see. We shall see who he goes. What's his lead? What is his lead? Is he going Kyogre? He's going to go... Oh mm, my god, yo. This is a terrible lead for us. It's a terrible lead for us. I could protect... Um, I could start dropping Scary Faces. Uh... What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Definitely an awful lead for us. Definitely an awful lead. I could protect. I could fake out. He's definitely going to Dynamax here. We know for a fact he's Dynamax. So I might just want to swap. I might just want to swap. What moves does this thing run? What moves does this thing run? Is this thing special attacking? It might be. I'm just going to area impulse and I might just, uh, I might just protect here. I might just protect. I could fake out. I think he's going to, like, protect the Wimscott or do something along those lines. But I got to protect because you know the Airstream's coming in hot. Yeah. There's a Dynamax here. Let's Eerie Impulse up on this thing. I totally forget this thing runs special attacking sets. I can't remember the last Zapdos I used. Cannot remember the last Zapdos I used. Let's see. Let's see if the Eerie Impulse can actually do this thing dirty. It could work out really, really well for us if he is end up going for that. Hmm. Let's see. Protect's going to poke out from... Okay, Wimscott. I'm with that turn all day. He thinks we're going to fake out. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So we're going to protect here. Good thing we did not touch the Wimscott. He thinks we're faking him out. We are going to go into a protect here. And more importantly, we're going to go into an eerie impulse. 
near impulse and most of them i think do run especially if they're running with kyogre they'll run a special attacking set because they're rocking with hurricane right so i i really do think he's rocking with a special attacking set they usually like to rock hurricane i think some rock heat wave i'm just i i i'm thinking we're, we're good on that so i might eerie impulse on him again or i could scary face that's good could scary face i think is going to be orb i could swap now i could definitely swap but i think i'm just going to do eerie impulse on him yet again could definitely be a play i could grass guy to get off some damage but i could swap as well but swapping i just don't think it's a play i think just letting him go down here and just going from here is probably a play I do like that. I think I think that's your best bet. Let's just go into a grass guide. Let's do damage over onto this wind scott. Just to, just to chip up some damage. You know, maybe take off the focus ash if he is rocking with it. But this thing is gonna end up taunting me. You buttery biscuit. He definitely is special attack. He 100 percent is special attacking. If we're going to, if we're going with eerie impulses and he's going for uh he's going for taunts on me, he's definitely special attacking. So we're gonna see another airstream come through here. Robloom is going to drop out, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Robloom dropping out from there. Definitely protects his Kyogre in the back end, but could be rocking with this. We could be rocking with this. So I could bring out Zacian, but I think Landers is 100% our call. It covers a lot here. Landers can cover a lot. We could go into an airstream, start taking speed, and that might be our play. That might be our play. To go into Landers and go into a max airstream and take out the Wimscott. Hopefully that thing's not rocking Charm. That could definitely be scary if he is, if he is going with Charm. When Tim A's gonna poke, it's gonna do nothing on both these, unless this after is physical. But like I said, definitely special. Definitely special. So we got an eerie impulse on him, which is really good. And in this case, we could just drop a thunderbolt and maybe just try to go for a paralyze on that. And then go for a lovely, lovely little uh airstream over on you. Just to get a speed boost. Just to get a speed boost. But I do think he's gonna pop a tailwind for the rest of his team here. I do think that's gonna happen. But Dynamax coming out from our lovely landers, and this one's looking tough. This one is looking tough. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves this win. If not, we are definitely grabbing ourselves a perfect record. Or not a perfect record. A winning record in battle number three. But, yo, this battle ain't over yet. We definitely still have a really good chance of winning this battle. Because we have Dynamax rolling here. We still have Zassi, one of the best. We're them onto the back end. I kind of like where we're sitting. And if we get rid of this Wimscott, our prankster can be rocking. He's going to go for a Tailwind. There's a the Tailwind to set up the rest of his team. I'm kind of fine with that. As long as he doesn't take out my Thunders here. As long as he doesn't take out my Thunders. He's going to go for a Lightning. And I think we should be able to hook that up, right? All day, baby. All day. That's lovely. So his Dynamax is done. I could drop a Rock Ball on him next turn, which I might end up doing. I might end up doing. Just for a sheer fact is we could change up weather, but I'm hoping he actually brings in what's it called. I'm hoping he actually brings in Kyogre. We get a nice little crit. That's some big damage. That's a lot bigger damage than I thought it would be. But he did set the train for us, which is great. And now we are going to get the speed boost. Lovely, lovely, lovely. He does have Tailwind up. But if he brings out a Pokemon that I think we can't outspeed, I'm just going to scary face it. I'm just going to scary face it. They can go drop two. So I have a lot of options here. I have a lot of options here. I can take out the bird easily with a rock ball. But I think it really depends what he goes into. Because I think he might go into Kyogre here. And if he does, we're scary facing that. And we are changing up the weather. Let's see who goes into. There's Kyogre. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. He's like, I have speed. I have weather. He's thinking all good things. Oh, are we still taunt it? Are we still taunt it? Or did we shake off our taunt? Are we still taunt it? Can you shake that off? No way. No way! How many turns left in our taunt? That's rough news. That's rough news, dude! I really had this plan set out in my head. I was just like, dude, we're gonna scary face. Dude, we are taunted, bro. Uh, I gotta change up weather. I have to hit up on him. Let's be double down into him, right? I guess we double down. We have to change this weather. Do we take out the bird though? Or does Kyogre pose that bigger threat? I think we have to double down into him. Let's see what he goes with. He's got to be going for a water spout. He's going to end up withdrawing. Okay, he withdraws the bird. So we're doubling down in here. And he's going to go into who? He's going to go into Landers here. Thinking we're going for an electric move. I'm cool with that. But more importantly, he's getting off that into me. This is scary, man. Don't take out my Lando. Water spout comes out. Lando, eat that. Oh my god, yo, this Pokemon. This thing is too strong. It's way too strong, man. This is why they need to get rid of this thing. Like, come on, yo. No problem just takes out my Dynamax Pokemon. No problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. That's rough. That is real rough. We're going to have to bring out Zazie. And he's going to take me out. No problem. He is going to take me out. No problem here. This is rough. This is rough. This is real rough. Gene's getting smacked up on here by Kyogre. 
Like I said, if you don't use these Pokemon, you're going to lose them. You're going to lose them. It's a tough one, but yo, that's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. Only if we had a taunt yet, we could have controlled the battle. We were not taunted, but hey, it is what it is. We take an L here. Tough to play up against Kyogres. We're going to hop to our third and final battle and look for a winning record for you guys. The Poke Gods are giving us a chance to redeem ourselves here in battle number three. Going up against yet another Kyogre team that features Whimscott for Tailwind, G Max Pikachu, which I'm kind of scared of because that thing is actually pretty strong. And then he has Liberio, Cinerace, Amoongus, and then his Tailwind user. Actually, he has two Tailwind users, but he has to get all Wings Talent Flame on his team. But how should I lead this one? Who should I go into? He does have the Pikachu, and I could see him going into a bunch of different leads. I could see him going into either Tailwind and Whimscott as a lead. Could definitely happen, so I might just want to go into a Fake Out user be really good but i can also see him going into cinderace pikachu um or kai ogre as lead as well so i think Robum could be solid here but i really am liking landers landers just works really well here just works really well here super effective against the town flame super effective move up against the cinderace the pikachu and the whimscott and the moongus just so we have to bring him in here. i think he must be a lead he also has intimidate with no defiant pokemon on the squad so i'm really liking that with a bunch of physical attackers so let's go in with them too or no, just that one. Who's my second guy? Do I go in with Thunderous? I don't like Thunderous here. We could taunt. We could uh, scary face. We could lower speed. We could do a lot with that. But I'm going to go here. I am going to bring you. And I think Zacian in the back end could be good. As much as I want Rillaboom, I really want to bring Gyarados. Just for the sheer fact is we haven't shown him off yet. Obviously, Rillaboom should be the play. Because he does have a Kyogre. But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to try to show off Gyarados here. Get him in a battle. And see if we can grab ourselves a win here in the third and final. And more importantly, grab ourselves that winning record. Because we played that last one a little iffy. A little iffy. We definitely had, like, a good mindset there. Where, like, we had a great play setup. We just totally forgot about Taunt. But I should have definitely kept my eyes on the Taunt turns. And should have kept checking my turns in my right-hand corner. Definitely should have checked them. Definitely should have kept my eye out on that. But he's going to lead the Talonflame. Alongside with the Amoongus. And Amoongus is kind of scary. We could Taunt it. Which I'm probably going to have to do. I think we just taunt Amoongus and we maybe just go for like a fly. He does have Gale Wings. He might set up a, a Tailwind. Do we think he's going to set up a Tailwind? But you know, I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide here. We are, or we don't even have the Dynamax here. We don't even have the Dynamax. So, you know, we're going to taunt this thing. Hopefully, it's not Methyl Herb. Alongside with a beautiful Rock Slide. Alongside with a lovely little Rock Slide. Let's just see what Talonflame does. He could go for a Flare Blitz. Could go for a Flare Blitz. But again, I do see this thing probably setting up a Tailwind. In that case, we're just going to start scary facing Pokemon left and right. But this is going to be a lovely little rock side. This could potentially take out Talonflame. Could potentially take out the Talonflame. He's going to go straight for a Talonflame. And what is Amoongus going for? We're going to taunt this thing. We're going to say, hey, yo, Amoongus. Knock your shenanigans off. We're not dealing with you today. We're not dealing with you today. We're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with that. You can't support for taunt. Lovely. Rock side's going to poke here. And can this take out Talonflame? Big old damage. Get him out of my game, dude. Get him out of here. So we get rid of Talonflame. He kind of already does his job of setting up a Tailwind. So I think he's happy with that turn. So from here, we could Dynamax. We could Dynamax Lando and go into an Airstream. And start taking speed. But I think it really depends on what Pokemon he throws out from here. I could see the Kyogre coming out. And if it is, this is where we scary face. And this is where we get after this Pokemon. This is where we do this at. Let's see. Who you going after? Do I eerie impulse on him? Or <laughs> I think I scary phase him. Do we outspeed him if we scary phase him? That's the real question. That's the real question. Do we outspeed him? Do we outspeed this thing? I could protect and just scary face this turn, but then Thunderous definitely goes down. Let me see the speed. Let me see a speed factor here. 113. I don't think we outspeed him. I just want to protect you. Then who can we bring out in the back end? I mean, if we scary face, then we can bring out you. And then we can Dynamax next turn, which I'm really liking. So yeah, let's go for straight scary face on this thing. Let's protect our Landorus. I think it's going to be a play. He's going to end up... Oh, no, that's me protecting. I was going to say he's going to end up protecting, but nah, that's us protecting. And our scary face is going to roll through here. I do not mind if Thunders goes down here. I think we're really thriving on our turns. Probably just going for like a Palm Puff or something, but here comes... A, oh, a Clear Smog. And a Clear Smog. Hit me up with a Clear Smog. That change we're removed and water spout's gonna poke and we know our thunder's gonna get removed. this is this is a fine turn for us this is a fine turn for us. It's a fine turn for us you can't go for rage powder we are going to bring out our zassian here which we could just drop a big old behemoth blade onto that thing and more importantly go for an airstream or probably go for a rock right yeah we're yeah zassian's a must zassian is an absolute must we're gonna dynamax lando here we don't get after the battle this way i'm like him over sitting i am like him over sitting 
The interpret sword is gonna fly. Yes, sir. Give me that attack boost. That's the outspeed Kyogre all day. And in this case, we just go here. I could go for that rock fall. Do I drop it on the Kyogre? Or do I drop it on the Moongus? I think we just drop it on the Moongus and we let Kyogre do a move. Actually, you know what? We're getting after this thing. We getting after this thing. We're gonna double down into this thing. We double down into this. I could go for special defense boost, but I, I gotta take weather control. I gotta take weather control. Let's drop a rock. Let's also go for a sacred sword. Let's double down into Kyogre. Let's double down into this lovely little Pokemon here. He's gonna witch all Moogus. That's a great turn for us. We're doubling down into Kyogre. And who's he gonna go into? Maybe an Intimidate Mon? Nope. Cinder is gonna fly through here. So Cinder Winder is gonna fly through here. And I can just quake that thing. That's what I'll probably do next turn. I will probably do that next turn. I could protect his Assy next turn too to take off the Tailwind turns because I think he only has one more after this. I think he only has one more effort, so this could work out wonderful. We're gonna get off some damage with the uh with his Assian shot, so his uh water spout cannot kill my lanterns, and then more importantly, we are gonna change up the weather. Sacred Sword's gonna poke. Yay! Some big old damage. That's some big old damage. And of course he does outspeed me, so good play by me to actually protect that last turn and just let the thunders die out here. Because now we get the weather control, we just take out this Pokemon. I probably should have went into like a quake or something, just give us some stat boost, but it's fine. Because actually, the Cinderace works a little bit better here. The Cinderace works a little bit better here. And what's our play here? What is our play here? Because he's got a Dynamax of Cinderace, obviously. He's 100% Dynamax in the Cinderace. He's 100% Dynamax in the Cinderace. And we do have Gyarados in the back end, so I could just hard swap into the Gyarados. Just get Intimidate on that Cinderace. Could be play, because if I hard swap into Gyarados here and just protect, I think Tailwind ends, right? Let me see. Let's see how many turns they have left. They have one. So I could hard swap and save my Intimidate. Hmm. But I think we have to Airstream into you. Let's Airstream into you. And I think we just protect. I think we just protect you. 100% reply. We got to protect this lovely little mon. He's definitely Dynamaxing. As much as I want to Quake into him, we do have that Gyarados in the back end. But this thing is live, bro. We definitely have to watch out. We definitely have to watch out for it. Because all of his moves are going to be stabbed. And he probably has a list of different moves. So we're going to hope he's going for the Fireball through my, uh, to my Zacian, just so we can soak up the attack, and then get this Airstream and hit that thing with a, with a Blade. But then he's going to be Fire. We just got to see what he does. What's he going to do here? Protect's going to come out from my Zacian. Big old block. Yo, coming down in the wire here. Come and grab ourselves this win here. He's going to go for that Fireball. Like I said, definitely go into Zacian, right? Goes into Zacian, and geez, man, that's some big damage. Almost kills us. Almost kills us here. That's ridiculous. This thing is going to outspeed us and be able to spore? What you mean? going to outspeed us and be able to spore. That's whack. That is whack. Tailwind is going to end, though. Tailwind does end out here. Buffets are going to trigger. Tailwind's gone. That's rough news. That is rough news. That's super rough news. Guess he just goes for a fireball. I mean, we got to just get off some damage here. Hmm. Who do we go after? What's our play? Let me go after you. He's gonna go for a rage power. That's totally fine. He's just gonna soak up shots here. We still have the lovely Gyarados in the back end. Emoth Blade's gonna poke. How much damage can we get off on this thing before we die out here? We're definitely dying here. He, he's gotta be taking me out here, right? He's gotta be taking me out here. And that's some big damage. That's a good turn for us. I like that turn. I like that turn a lot. Take that thing out in one shot. Zacian, he's gonna go for an airstream here. He's gonna change type and then who's he gonna go after? He's gotta be going after Zacian here, right? He's gotta 100% be going after Zacian. Yep, Zacian's gonna pop out here. And luckily, we are gonna be able to get off an intimidate on this guy. That's good for us. That's good for us. But our Dynamax turns are over. We're gonna be slumped this turn, which is rough news. Actually, maybe we can have a quick wake up. And that could be a great turn for us if we do have a quick wake up. Give it to us. Give it to us. Wake up. Nah, we slumped. We slumped. Okay, so we're, we're down to two Pokemon. Down to two Pokemon versus and he has one more Dynamax turn and we do not have a Protect. We do not have a Protect on our uh, Gyarados. I could protect my uh I could protect my my what's it called here? My Lando here. Because I think he does wake up this turn, so protecting him could be the play. Do I protect him here and hope that he goes after him? But I honestly think he's gonna go after Gyarados here. I honestly think he targets down Gyarados. We are going to go for a Stone Edge because I... Do we think he's going for an Airstream? I think Stone Edge is still the play. I mean, Waterfall's not bad. It is Stab. 
But you know, we are just going to go straight for this waterfall. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for this airstream. Good thing. I mean, we probably should have went for the uh, stone edge, but still. It was just a safe call here. He's going to take the speed boost. And I need my boy to wake up here because we have rock slide poking out on this thing. We need a big old wake up. If we wake up, we could potentially win this match. Waterfall is going to poke. Get some good damage off on that thing. Wake up. You're still asleep, dude? You're still asleep? What you mean? Yo, what? Get this thing out of my face. So he doesn't know what we're going for. He doesn't know what we're going for. And uh, what do we think he's going to go for? He knows we're going for waterfalls. I don't know what he's going to change into. I could go into a fly. But then he could just protect it, right? Wait, say I go into a fly. He's just going to protect it. Actually, he probably doesn't. He's probably not rocket protect on this thing. Fly might be a play. I do not want to drop an EQ because he stays flying. Rockside's probably going to be a play, right? If he stays flying, if he goes fire, I just don't think he's going to go fire. That's the, that's the thing. I just don't think he's going to go fire. We're going to go fly alongside with a waterfall. 100% apply. 100% apply. He's going to go for that sucker punch. He's going to switch his typing. And who's he going to try to take out here? Eat it, Gary. Gary with the eat, baby. That should be GG's. That should be GG's. We're going to waterfall. Waterfall should just be able to take out on soon. Let's go, Gary. Soaking up, baby. Hitting waterfall for a victory. You have solid battle there. Came down the wire. We had a three turn sleep, but we clutched it up and won it and grabbed ourselves that winning mark. Good thing we brought Gyarados in that third and final battle. I honestly, at the beginning, I was like, yo, we really need Rillaboom, but I'm going to go Gyarados since we didn't showcase it yet. But Gyarados came in clutch, clutched it up, and grabbed ourselves that win. Honestly, Thunders kind of clutched it up with the scary face onto that Kyogre. And that was kind of the reason we were able to control the battle, get rid of that Kyogre, and then have our back end Pokemon come in there and win that third and final battle. But hey, 2 1 for today's video, not too bad. First, third battle, grabbed ourselves a victory. Second battle didn't really go our way, did not pay attention to taunt turns, but it is what it is. Guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.